Hey everyone, so today I am coming to you with very little makeup and all black ensemble because I am going to be trying on some of my favorite winter coats. So stay tuned and you'll see some of my favorites for this upcoming season. So this is where the voiceover starts. Now the jackets that I'm featuring will be from most appropriate for warmer days to most appropriate for cooler days. And I'll bring in labels as I can. This one's by Apostrophe. It was a thrifted jacket and I liked it because it has a vintage look even though it's not a vintage jacket. Fully lined, great herringbone fabric in black and white. Um, in great shape, which is why I bought it. I like a good bargain and this was one of them. It's got a cute silhouette. I enjoy wearing this one on the days where it's not too cold outside. It's perfect for fall transitioning into winter. So yeah, I like this jacket a lot. This next one is a favorite and I always get compliments on it. It's a cape. I do believe I got it from Voodoo Vixen, which is an online retailer. I'll have to double check my um, my order history to see exactly where I got it from, but I believe it was Voodoo Vixen. It's got a toggle closure. It is um, doubled fabric, so it is very warm, but because it's so open, you can't prevent air from getting around where those openings are but uh it's so chic and every time I wear it I get so many compliments definitely a fave now this jacket is so lightweight I thrifted it a few years ago it is not good for any sort of cool days um, but if you've got a little bit of warmth, like maybe a 70 degree day or a little bit cooler, it's great. But it was in great condition. It has, I guess, more of a windbreaker like um, feel to it. So, yeah, this is a cute jacket, though. I love this bright green and the fact that it ties um, around the waist. You have that nice little sash that you can tie to cinch the waist in very cute and this one is vintage i'm not sure what year but certainly um it is an older jacket but the shape of it was great you just can't rely on it for too much warmth but it is good for blocking a breeze or two when you wear it so i love it and um it looks great with solid colors which is why i usually wear it with black or cream or even navy and it's by couture specialties like the label says very old now this jacket is another thrifted one it is so nice it's by calvin klein and um it is this nice little kind of pebbled marbled i guess i think pebbled's a better word texture just a really nice peacoat style jacket it's got a good liner this one is warmer than the last couple of jackets i showed you and it just looks really nice and tailored when you put it on so it fits well um, especially if i'm wearing a thin layer underneath so um there's a close-up of the fabric texture but yeah another good jacket a good thrifted buy that i love and it looks good on i wear it for most of the beginning of winter now this one is an absolute fave liz claiborne um another thrifted buy very very cute on this one also has a belt situation so you can cinch in the waist this i reach for even more than that last jacket that calvin klein this one is absolutely perfect for most of the early winter days because it is fully lined it's got some weight to it but it's not a long jacket it is um a little bit uh, around I think maybe thigh length I guess you could say um, you can see when I back away from the camera um, but yeah it's thigh length it's not quite knee length but perfect and it looks so good and so pulled together it's got such a great tailored look love it very cute now this is one of the coats that I got from my grandmother and it's suede with a fur collar I generally uh, shy away from buying animal um, 
product as far as coats and things. So you won't usually see me with real leather unless it's vintage. And this is a vintage jacket. This one shows you some of the problems with buying vintage, which is when you go to get it cleaned, you may notice that the lining is a little undone like this one there are buttons missing it needs some love i'll be doing some tweaks to it um probably next year um because i have so many winter coats it really doesn't um matter to me to tend to this one just yet but i like it it is cute and it was hers so it's very special to me like all of the coats that i inherited from her Here's another one of the coats. This one is an excellent example of a very well-maintained coat. You can see that liner is impeccable and it's such a gorgeous color. Um, also has some fur trim. It was actually all of my grandmother's coats came to me cleaned. So um, I might have to do a little bit of spot treating, but that's it. But now what you see is missing button. And so I'll have to redo the buttons on this. Again, this is another one that'll probably get some more loving care next year because as you see this video, I have so many coats. Um, I don't really have to deal with this for a while. I have others I can wear instead. And as you can see, it's a little bit shorter, but it is fully lined. So that gives it a little more warmth than some of the earlier jackets very nice so this is a faux fur coat again fully lined but you're going to notice something that's the dry cleaner tags look it's been ruined on the inside of the liner that's not uncommon for vintage coats um so for this one the fit is good it is warm it is pretty and it's faux fur on top of that but as you can see, the liner is trashed. You can absolutely get liners replaced in your coats. Um, if you go to a good seamstress or tailor or something like that, this coat has the buttons, no buttons missing. And um, there I am rocking it. I love it. It is so cozy. It's got a really nice feel to it, which is why I will probably wear this on some days where I need to go out, but not too far, and it might be a bit chilly. It's a good coat to wear. I like it. And it's my grandmother's, so that's nice. So this is another thrifted coat. Oh, I love this one. It is by, as you can see, Marvin Richards. It says extra small, made in the Dominican Republic. It is not an extra small. I am not an extra small. So this jacket is not an extra small. It is some just does fit me stuff. Um, back before I stopped going into the office, I would wear this one frequently um, on days where the temperatures were above freezing, but not much. So um, for those stateside, I'm talking about 40 degree weather. It's got a lot of weight to it. And for those abroad, we're talking about anything above two degrees i would wear this um it's another one with a nice little belt accent in the back and as you can see it has a split along the back that's probably where the extra small comes in you can see my butt is not that small but it's a nice jacket it fits well and it's good for those not too cold days now this one this one this is the one this marciano coat is perfection it's got a nice weight Look at that color. Go Pepto Bismol pink. This one is my, I don't want to say my favorite, but I do want to say my favorite because it's a pink coat for crying out loud and it is vintage. It fits me just perfectly. Now, since I put on some weight due to medication, it doesn't have as much room as it used to, but it still fits. If I wear thinner layers, if I wear a heavier um, sweater probably not but look at this coat you all oh this one is such a showstopper just like that green coat it always gets conversation same thing with the cape this one people have stopped me so many times I've lost count to tell me how much they love it how gorgeous it is and it is yeah I might have to say it might be my absolute favorite coat um, now this one is another one from my grandmother and, um, this one, I'm trying to show you a label on the inside and I found it. It's casual corner. And so this one is a 
dark brown jacket. It's got your um your little accent on the back to kind of give you that look of a slightly cinched back, a little more structure to it. This one, like many of the others, missing some buttons, um, but it's got a nice weight. We're finally getting into some of the heavier coats. That pink coat was my transition from lighter coats to heavier. That's true mid-weight coat, and this one is pretty close. Now, the pockets are still stitched up, which lets me know my grandmother probably just toted all of her personal effects in a purse while she wore this coat. No need to open the pockets, but look at the back of this. This is why I love vintage coats. The tailoring is insanely good and replacing buttons is such an easy task. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not hard to do. So I'll be doing that. Now this one, oh, I love this fur collar. I believe this is one of the coats that really doesn't have one of those big labels. You can see some fading on the liner, but the liner didn't have any holes or rips or wear in it, which was nice. You've got fur on the collar, fur on the cuffs, and it fit wonderfully. That coat has some weight to it, so definitely good for those days where you've got some um, below freezing weather, but not if you have to walk too far. Um, missing a button, um, but you can certainly button it close to the neck, which is actually where you need the buttoning most so that you can prevent that draft from going down your shirt. This one has some pockets. The pockets had a little bit of um, fraying on the inside, but you know, look at the back of that. Um, that seam along the back is perfection. And I love this coat, very 60s. This is so my grandmother's style. She had such good taste. Oh, I miss her, you guys. She was wonderful. Now this coat, another one of hers, watch for this one. This one is something special. Um, we've got some tags. I couldn't find the manufacturer of this, but we still got the, the dry cleaner labels. Now this is going to take me a little bit longer to get on and you'll see why, but um, I have to do a little spot cleaning because even though they cleaned it, they left some spots. How about that? I ugh, I hate when people don't do a complete job. So they didn't get it as clean as I would have liked, but those are small things. And remember, these are things I inherited. So I don't mind doing a little extra to make sure that they are handled well. And look, 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 there it is. There it is. This has a whole sash going over the shoulder. It's it's a cape mixed with a sash. That's me finding the spot that I need to clean before I wear it out. Look at that. You can button it around the neck to stop any draft. It's got a good weight. Get back in frame, girl. Here we go. Now I'm in frame. Look at this. You see this over the shoulder action? Look, my grandmother was a stylish someone. And I got some of her things. I wish I had some other clothes of hers, but look at here. I'm going to clean this jacket and then I'm going to stunt all over some folks. Watch me now. Okay. One more of her jackets. I think I might have two more. Still has the dry cleaning tags. Look at that liner. Shiny, um, not faded at all and not a rip in sight. Also, um, you've got that fur collar, which is nice and heavy. This is a really heavy jacket, actually probably doesn't look it, but it is lined and it has some weight. Look at this collar, you guys. Oh my goodness. I love it. Um, this jacket, um, missing a button as well, but again, you can button it at the top to, um, bring all of that um, closure together. Make sure you don't have any draft going down your neck. Pockets are good, but they did have a few rips in the um, lining of the pockets, but not a big deal unless you plan on toting a lot in the pockets, but very warm. This is great for gloves. You see how my wrists are exposed? I would definitely wear some gloves with this and that would be that. It's very cozy. Good jacket. So this is another jacket. I believe this is some sort of velvet and fur combination again. This one has a liner that's got some fading and discoloration, but it's the liner. There are no holes in it, so I'm pleased. Um, 
very nice jacket very comfortable it's got a good amount of weight to it um another one that i'm fairly certain this one might have been from the 70s instead of the 60s like some of the other jackets probably were but look at that look at that it looks very luxe it's got a nice sheen to it um the camera's picking up on that a little bit as well as some slight fabric imperfections but look guys it's over 50 years old you expect it to have a flaw or two at that age and so we're getting close we got some missing buttons as i'm showing you um but nothing that i can't repair with some time and some planning um this one will probably not be getting repaired this year e either you see how many coats i've got not a priority for this year and this coat is just ah. Uh, for one, this is my favorite color palette. I love a good champagne slash beige slash ivory situation. This is another older coat from my grandmother's collection. Um, this one, fantastic. I'm so glad that this one that's in my favorite colors is also in great shape i'm not missing any buttons i don't think i'm pretty sure i'm yeah i'm not missing any buttons on this coat you've got a fur collar and these complementary colors this really is giving me everything that i need now i'm not in love with the buttons funny funny enough and i do need to tighten up a couple of them unless i just swap them out for completely different buttons which would work as well um i wouldn't be mad at that see look at that look at that you guys yeah they got to be tightened up but look at them they're cute and they're vintage so i might have to make them work here i am looking for the pockets there are those slant pockets so the flaps are just for decoration but that is the last of them love hey it everyone i hope you enjoyed that little mini preview of my coat collection i actually have a few more but they're over at the house where i grew up where i have a few things stored still um i won't have enough from that um, location to do a second video because there are only like two or three coats over there but one of them is my favorite so maybe I'll make a special video on that probably not but if I feel inclined you'll see it eventually before the winter is over um, but those are my coats both old and newer some inherited some thrifted and so yeah that is my collection um, I'll put all the details to everything that I have details for in the description box below. So hope you all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.